Gentlemen, that is the sound of blow molded resin. And you can be sure that with materials like this, we're using the very best plants and trees that grow on American soil and manufactured by the most industrious American workers. And that gives us something to believe in, America. Because in America, we want to support not only our dinner plates, we also want to be able to have support for the dinner plates of every living soul on this planet once again. And so, it's my pleasure to share with you today the Patrioteer, a new standard of support for America. <laughs> support. Because it's a table. Yeah, yeah. no, oh, oh, we got it. <laughs> Let's think you're a real Shakespearean for coming up with that little gem. That sounds like something my kid could pull out of his ass on his way to class. I mean, what is with that title, The Patrioteer? <laughs> I mean, I could just pull it back a little bit, right? I mean, it's, it's a table. It's not a jet fighter. <laughs> I don't think you understand. The point of this campaign is to give your company significant cultural identity, which no other furniture manufacturer Well, if has. that's the case, then why don't you turn the sweet stuff around so she can effectively hook me into buying our own product? Because whoever designed that ad, surprisingly, left out the most American ingredient in your American campaign. If I may, based on what he said, who exactly is our target for this marketing campaign? Certainly not for Canada, that's for sure. Did you come with any other presentation today? Gentlemen, this is a domestic campaign. It's made by Americans. It's for Americans. To bring us all on the same side again. You understand, don't you? All right. I think I've heard enough. I can't even begin to tell you how off topic you are. This campaign is more presidential than commercial, and even then a political ad would make a clear point. You got no point, and you got no point. I don't think you get what I'm saying. There's nothing left to discuss. You're dismissed. I can't believe we gave the agency three months to pitch this. Mr. Tanner? Yes, Kelly. It's Kylie. This better be important for you to interrupt this meeting, Kelly. Well, this sort of relates to it. Mr. Finnegan is making a scene out here in the office. It's not pretty. Finnegan? Who's this Finnegan? Who's this, who's this Finnegan you're referring to? How's this for America? Is this America enough for you? Asshole! Sectarian motherfucker! Screw you! Kelly, just dial security. They'll know how to handle this. Yes, sir. Uh, Enzo, lock the door, will you? That door is bulletproof, right? <laughs> Kelly, I told you to do something. Don't be a hero, honey. You're uninsured. Of course I'm insured, Tanner. Did you forget who runs this place, you useless loiter sack in a suit? Oh, Mr. Friendly. How are you, sir? Thank you for the tie. I think it looks great. Any plans for the weekend, Quit sir? Quit sucking my dick, Tanner. That's my intern's job. What's going on out there? Oh, nothing our security can't handle, sir. It seems like, um, thin... You gotta do all those It's the agency guy, sir. We rejected his proposal, and it seems like he just can't handle that kind of rejection. Rejection? Are you a woman with high standards, Tanner? Oh, no, sir. We just have high standards for our product. This is the fifth proposal you've rejected thus far. I have high standards for her too, Tanner, but by this point, our warehouses are overflowing with them. You're putting traffic at a standstill here. No need to fret, sir. We'll just issue another request for proposal. You've sent out enough RFPs, Tanner. You've whored her out as much as my patience will allow it. If you say there's no suitor worthy enough for our girl, then how about you take her hand yourself? I want you and your sad little entourage to come up with a pitch and present it to me first thing tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. You'll either get my blessing 
Or you could all expect a swan song similar to Mr. Finnegan's first thing that very morning. Do I make myself clear? Crystal, sir. Good. Now, you better take good care of my baby girl, Tanner, or else the next time you'll ever get a piece of ass like that again is when your hand slips through the toilet paper. All right, all right. Staring at the clock is not going to make our troubles go away any faster. What we need to do now is brainstorm. Did anybody jot down anything we can use? There was nothing to jot down. What was there to jot down from that lack of a presentation? Well, I hope he accepts doodles, because all I did was draw a picture of a table on a piece of paper. So. The girl would have got me hooked if she just turned around. I bet you she can make the meat popsicle of Florida melt all over Cuba. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Why, why does it always have to come down to sex with you? We should focus on our demographics. What's the point? We're done for the day. Why should we stick around and pull an all-nighter for this? We hired the ad guys. We have no experience in putting together ads. Okay. Let's see if we can take all this and put an effective campaign together. All of your jobs are at stake here, and nobody, nobody leaves this room until we fully do so. Kelly, cancel your plans for tonight. We're all staying this evening and we'll need you in case of anything. Yes, Mr. Tanner. Also, Mr. Finnegan's ad poster was left behind after being escorted. Want me to just throw it away? I don't care. I don't... Gallagher here. We'll take it from your hands, sweetheart. Late night snacks are served, gentlemen. Thank you, Kelly. Kylie. Hand me my sandwich, honey. I had the British Rail. There you go. So, how's the meeting coming along? It's getting pretty late, right? It's none of your concern, Kelly. Oh, it's been hell. Gallagher over here is taking a sweet, dearie time getting his pitch together for us. Yeah, the, uh... Ad girl you cast for this poster. Can you give me her contact information? Okay. Five three one eight zero zero eight. Hey, um, one last thing. Exactly how old is she? Hey, hey, Gallagher. Today, huh? Yeah, hurry up, asshole. Should I go? No, don't interrupt. Tell you what, gentlemen, our wives are real hard workers back at home and deserve the very best that we can give them. Am I right? Well, I'm divorced, so... Uh... Amen, Reverend. What the fuck was that? I was about to ask you the same thing. Get your head together, man. Thank you, Leland. Well, with this top-notch durability and portability, this table here will provide them with the very best in the household artillery. It will be the war rig of all craft and catering, anywhere, inside or outside the house. Whether she needs to support an entire party, or a party of two, this table will come in handy. That's right, gentlemen, it's a piece of craft that's as handy as her man. This here is the handyman. Handyman? Yes, sir, the handyman. So are you intending our product to compete with America's handymen? Of course not. It's just a catchy name. Can't exactly perform maintenance on its own. Well, it can't exactly have an affair with my wife either. So why call it the handyman? Well, I believe the tagline says it all. It's as handy as your man. Well, then why don't you just call it the, the handy table? It's just as effective and it's not as confusing. Because that sounds stupid. It'll lose its catchy edge. What better way to give the missus in our lives a better sense of gratitude than with a quick handy? Oh, oh my God, Gallagher, nice there's a lady man. in the room. Okay, all right. Gallagher, look, I know you're not your father, but even you're smart enough to realize the name you came up with, it just doesn't work. Does our product even need to have a name at all? 
No piece of furniture has ever been branded outside of what it is, what it's made of, or the color. Just what are you getting at? Are you suggesting just call it a gray blow molded resin folding table? Portable folding table. That is the selling point. A little too much whiskey, O'Connor? How does that roll off your tongue? How will our product then stand out against other gray blow molded resin portable folding tables? The, the manufacturing number, perhaps? You can't be serious. Manufacturing number? It's an identification that links the original product back to the manufacturer. Does anyone actually know what the number is? Would somebody look up the specification? Kelly, honey, take this for me. I'm not gonna finish. Three seventy H fifty five V. Three seventy what? Who on earth will name their product after a series of jumbled characters? We're not licensing a car here, people. We'll look like assholes. You're there already, buddy. The fuck you just say? No, well, you know, I've just had about your snow gas from our. This is a brilliant fucking idea. Their you know freely. Here's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, but nobody mine. asked you to come out and tell us all about how your handyman parked your wife like oh, you a goddamn Oh, you want to scratch some shit here? Come on, I'll slam your two-inch stick in the back door of your Bel Air. I drive an El Dorado, and you know it. That's but enough. Shit. Knock it off, both of you, please. Come on. All right, by show of hands, who's in favor of giving the table a name? Those opposed? Gentlemen, I believe you're forgetting that the almighty Lord counts as a vote. And quite frankly, I see him leaning in my favor. Oh, cut the shit, Junior. Leave the business to the businessmen here. It's over. Like hell it's over. We're at a standstill here. How about we ask the little lady in the room for her opinion, hmm? Who? Me? No. Gallagher, leave her be. She doesn't understand any of this stuff. But she's the intended target consumer for the product. Thus, makes her the deciding vote. Tell me, uh... Kelly. I mean Kylie. Kelly, tell me. Does the name well tailor the product? Well, I mean, when I imagine seeing this in the store, all I'm going to think is, oh, that's a table. Even with the name and the meaning behind it, at the end of the day, I'm still just going to call it a table. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. Thank you, Kelly. It's settled. We'll call it the three seven. Whoa, no, 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 no. That isn't that is an entirely different discussion. I mean, how exactly do you expect to hook people in with a name like that? Well, if you turn to the consumer report for the previous fiscal year, we could see that the primary consumer of our, our product is a families of four. Okay, but how does that hook people? Well, if you turn to the table graph... Fuck the tables! I am not asking the tables. I am asking you! If you turn to the table graph... What did I just say? If you turn to the table... What? Turn what? The table Spit it out, old man! I'm just saying that, that if we use our primary demographic as a starting point... Okay, good. Shut up. All right? I've got it. I'm going to try to picture this for you in your intended primary demographic. Mm -hmm. And you should pay attention to this too. Ready? Here it is. The 370. Unlike Dixon, it can support a family of four. <laughs> Trademarking asshole! Oh, hey! God yeah. damn it! What's, what's the matter? Ah, <laughs> you having a hard time supporting your fucking you face for my fist? Hey, Leland, get it. Roll over. Shut the fuck up, Gallagher! Hey, you don't talk about me! You don't talk about my wife! 
You don't talk about any of my people. Shut the walk up in my mouth. No one of your wife left you. You're a goddamn Get lunatic. Get the fuck up right now. Shut the fuck up. God damn it, both of you. Uh, both? Never in all my meetings have I seen shit like this go down. Look at the clock. All of you. If you can't pull yourselves together, by the time it strikes 9 o'clock, you'll all be out of a job. Don't you pretend that you're not on the same boat with us, Tanner. If we set sail, you're hopping aboard with us. Don't act like you've got nothing left to lose because of your problems back at home. Now, I better not hear any more about this from here on out. Your domestic drama belongs in the counselor's room, not in the boardroom. In other words, be a fucking professional. Now, get the fuck up. Okay, I'm sitting down. I'm All sitting you sit down. down. Let's get to now work. on. Where are we at now? You know what? I don't care. Fuck it. O'Connor, you win. Call it... Call it a rectangle with legs for all I care. I just want to go home. All right. All right. We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to continue. Kelly, I need to talk to you in private. It's Kylie, Mr. Tanner. Now, Kelly. And gentlemen, grow the fuck up. We're still keeping the ad girl on the drawing table, though. I'm telling you, she's a keeper. You had no authority for your remark in there. I'm sorry, Mr. Tanner. Gallagher just put me on the spot in there, and... And you had every right to walk out of that spotlight. But now, because of you, I have to go back in there to try and convince those five buffoons why calling this product a... The 370-something is the Hindenburg of bad ideas. Well, I'm sure you can make them reconsider, sir. Do me a favor, Kelly. Next meeting you come to, keep your lips closed and take your business elsewhere. Do you understand? Do you understand? Of course, Mr. Tanner. All right. Go ahead back to your desk. <laughs> Elsewhere. Elsewhere. Take, Take your, your business, business elsewhere. elsewhere. Business, business elsewhere. elsewhere. Like the slogan, the idea for it popped into my head when I left. Hear me out. I can see half of the entire picture in my head, but I just can't seem to tie into what the table actually is. I'm not talking about simply finding a name. I mean, finding an identity for this thing, you know? Got any ideas, Enzo? With the time, you better get going. Tell Mr. Tanner I'm heading out for today. I want to beat the morning traffic home. Are you suggesting this calling a gray blow molded resin folding table? Portable folding table. That is the selling point.
I don't believe it. It's so simple and so effective. I have nothing to say. This here basically says it all. Tell me, Enzo, how did you come up with this? No, 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 no. Shut up, Enzo. Doesn't matter. What matters is we have a pitch and our asses are in the clear. I, I just hope Mr. Friendly likes it as much as we all do. Are you kidding? He'll kill himself for not thinking of it sooner. Okay, gentlemen. I'll present this to old Frankie. And oh, I'll you all no, you will not. Now, hold what? on. Now, what? just wait a minute. Who elected you to do the pitch? I didn't yeah. see you give one idea today, Tanner. All you did was shoot down everyone else's. You never even bothered to revise any of the ideas we had. Not one. Enzo came up with the idea. He should be the one to go do the pitch. Enzo might have come up with the idea, but I get good relations with old Frankie, so it's oh, best oh, if I go. please. Old Frankie? Well, there's no point in arguing about it now. Time's up. I gotta go. Ah. All in favor of Enzo giving the presentation? The matter is settled. Give Enzo the presentation. Bastards, all of you. I guess the tables have turned, Tanner. Let's get the hell out of here. You weren't thinking of taking all the glory for yourself. Not after a night like that. Good. Because I prepared a little something visually for the pitch. What do you think? Splendid. Let's go. The presentation has arrived, sir. Send them in. Enzo, so glad to see Tanner didn't send himself in for once in his damn life. Well, who's your lady friend here? Aren't you Tanner's girl? Yes, I'm Kai... Kelly. Kelly Ogilvy. I work together with Enzo on what we're going to be showing you today. Well, Kelly, I won't interrupt anymore. You both may proceed. No need to say more. I get it. The hook couldn't be clearer. The table is the message. Well done, you two. You've done a great deed for this furniture wear company. We've got our campaign. Sir, 
Mr. Gallagher's here to see. Wait, you can't go in there. Hope there's room to add one more thing, old man. It's okay, dearie. Him and my father are close. Practically Marco by this point. Well, 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 Gallagher Jr., you were as much of a rambunctious son of a bitch as your father once was barging in here like this. You know I wouldn't kick down your door without a very good reason. Or, if you needed a job, if I recall, once upon a time. You're lucky you caught me in a good mood. Otherwise, I would have had your ass beat and made your bedtime early. Spill it. What do you got to show us at the last minute? Allow me to show you your new ad girl for this whole campaign. Quite a sight, ain't she? Wait. Hold on. You just opened up a new opportunity here. What if, instead of one ad girl, we have two? Who'd you have in mind? The one on your right, actually. Her? Wait, me? Yes. Just look at her. She makes the perfect foil for the other. I can see it now. A product not just for a housewife, but for any type of household. Family of four or single? Tell me, Junior, that girl in the poster, what's her name? Her name's Kylie. Kelly and Kylie. I can just picture a commercial with these two already. It used to be such a hassle trying to prepare for every get-together. Try as hard as I can. There's just never enough room for more. Now with the portable table, I have the space for the whole party. Or perhaps a party of two. Whether you're in the cozy indoors or traversing through the great outdoors, you can, can take the table anywhere, anywhere you go. Light enough to carry with one hand. Sturdy enough to carry five of me alone. For here or for there, we can take our business anywhere. Take your business elsewhere with The Portable Table by American Support Systems.